Hello everyone, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 10.2 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. Example 10.2 follows example 10.1, to demonstrate how to use surface-based CZM elements to simulate delamination of a double candle ever beam, consisting of two laminas bonded by a very thin layer of adhesive. The adhesive layer of the previous example is removed and redefined as an interaction between the coincident surfaces of the two layers of the laminated beam. Element-based cohesive modeling is replaced by a surface-based cohesive model. First, open the CAE file from example 10.1. Rename the model. Save the CAE file with a new name. Edit the assembly, to remove the thick adhesive layer. Remove the surfaces of the adhesive. Remove the constraints tying the thick adhesive to the two beam layers. Delete the adhesive layer. Once the adhesive is deleted, we need to regenerate the assembly. Right now both layers are meshed, but we need to partition the beam, and before we do that, we must delete the mesh. Now we partition the beam to separate the bonded region, 70 mm long, on the right, and the debonded region, 30 mm long, on the left. To partition the beam at the exact length, we partition the edge to 0.7 of its current length. Now we remesh. Locate the toolbar called, Display Group. Click the first icon, called, Replace Selected. Pick the top of the beam. Edit the surface called, top, which is at the bottom of the top layer, to include the bonded and the debonded segments. Now we create a set, to name the bonded region. In the display group toolbar, click replace all, to have the complete assembly selected, active, and visualized. Now create an interaction property, type contact, to describe the cohesive behavior of the contact region, to be selected later. A number of material properties are needed, listed here and explained in the textbook. The stiffness coefficients, one for each delamination mode, are the slopes of the stress displacement curves, denoted by K tilde in the picture.
The outer plane thickness is the width of the beam, which is not in the mesh because the mesh is too deep, spanning the length and thickness of the beam, not its width. Damage Initiation Criterion, Quadratic Traction The normal, shear 1 and shear 2 coefficients are the strength values, sigma i superscript 0, point a in the figure. Damage Evolution Type, Energy Mixed Mode Behavior, BK BK Exponent, from Properties Table Fracture Energy is the area under the curve in the Cohesive Zone Plot, enclosed by the Triangle OAC, in the figure For damage stabilization coefficient, you have to try and see what works. Now click OK, we're done with properties. Now we create the interaction itself, type, surface to surface contact. Now create a new job and submit it. When completed, click results. For results, let's check the deformed shape at the last increment of load. The animation is easy because we are recycling example 10.1, where the history output request was set up. Plotting force versus opening displacement is also easy, for the same reason. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.